Hi, I'm Mari Grigalunas, the Public Information Officer at the Village of Villa Park, and I'm here today on Village View with several representatives from Mama Squash Market. This is Kristen, Zach, and Ra. Thank you all for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a pleasure. Um, now, for people who aren't familiar, Kristen, can you explain what is Mama Squash Market? Mama Squash Market will be a full-service uh, brick-and-mortar grocery store um, that will be pretty much like any other grocery store that you okay. know of. It will sell fruits and vegetables, bread, meat, dairy products, pretty much anything that you could get at a regular grocery store. Um, but it's also like a farmer's market, but year-round because it will be in a physical location. Um, and like a farmer's market, it will sell products that were grown or produced locally and okay. also in the most sustainable ways possibly on smaller farms. Um, and so for the most part, they will be natural and organic. And um, if it is a GMO product, that it will be labeled. Okay. So there will be things like um, grass-fed beef, um, farm fresh eggs, local honey, um, pretty much all the wonderful things that you can think of that you could get at a, a farmer's market. Awesome. And I've also heard it referred to as a food co-op. Can you explain how a food co-op is different from a traditional grocery store? Sure, yeah. Um, a food cooperative is a specific kind of corporate structure, um, but the difference is that it is owned and governed by its members. Okay. Um, and so um, it is a for-profit venture, uh, but there are several principles that guide a food cooperative, and we're only going to talk about a couple of them, but there are seven, and I'm going to go ahead and read those off. All right. Um, so the first one is voluntary and open membership. The second one is democratic member control. The third one is member economic participation. The fourth, autonomy and independence. The fifth, education, training, and information. Um, the sixth, cooperative, uh, cooperation among cooperatives. And the seventh is concern for community. Awesome. So. And Zach, you're going to talk a little bit about the democratic member control yep. and the economic member opportunities. Yep. So democratic member control is one of the most important aspects of a cooperative model. While the co-op will be open to anybody that wants to mm -hmm. purchase groceries, the members are the ones that will get the special offers and discounts on products and workshops. Okay. Also, each member has one vote, and one vote is one say in the decision-making of the business, um, board of directors, and what products are to be sold in the store. Oh, okay. And members can purchase up to five shares. However, it's o it's always just going to be one person, one vote. So if someone's got more shares than another person, it's, it's, it's just all a, very fair. Yep, it's very fair. Um, and then, how do co-ops benefit the local economy more so than maybe some other traditional stores? Uh, when there's a profit in a co-op, the money goes back to the members because they are the ones that own the co-op mm -hmm. and then the ones are making the decisions um, and this is one of the rewarding benefits of becoming a, a member okay um, secondly uh, we're gonna be create the jobs will be created and co-ops pay a living wage compared to other regular grocery stores it's very important mm -hmm. and then uh, as a result the money will stay in the local economy and co-ops tend to help revitalize neighborhoods and Villa Park is going through a revitalization. We look forward to be part of that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, will food be priced similarly to how it is in other grocery stores? Um, <coughs> some things may be less expensive if you were to go to a specialty store and get that. However, okay. t if you want to eat whole, organic, sustainable food, it's going to be more expensive in general mm -hmm. just because of the process that goes into it. It's understandable. Mm -hmm. And in one sense, you might be paying more eventually because if you eat unhealthy, you're going to have health problems later down the road instead of just buying the healthy right. food up front. Um, also, we will we'll work really hard to make sure that a lot of our stuff is affordable for everyone. Um, because you can buy things in bulk, right? Yeah. Um, that helps? Yeah, co-ops are big on buying things in bulk because it minimizes packaging and uh, cuts down on transportation costs because we'll be buying things in bulk, but we'll also be buying it from local farms around the, around the region. Awesome. And Rob, you're going to tell us a little bit about the progress um, Mama Squash Market has made so far and some of the education aspects um, of the co-op? Yeah. Well, Mark, we, um, we kicked off back in uh, August of 2014. We incorporated, 
and uh, formed a steering committee. And that steering committee has been meeting on a weekly basis at the Villa Park Library from 7.30 to 9. Okay. And uh, it's a hardworking core that we have put together. And these volunteers have been working to put together the web mm -hmm. presence, um, provide our marketing expertise, and also to um, get involved with community events and uh, right. things of that nature. Awesome. And Go ahead. Well, and uh, so part of that <coughs> is that we can always use more people mm -hmm. and uh, love to, to get people involved, especially at this time uh, when we're coming up on some stepping stones. Like you're looking for a site right now, is that right? We do have a site selection committee formed that's uh, made up of some Villa Park realtors, uh, some economic advisors, and we also have um, some architects and local builders oh, yeah. that are <coughs> helping us sift through the, the list and decide what's the most appropriate structure for our needs. Right, but it will be in Villa Park, just so everybody's clear. It right? will be in Villa Park. And now is the time to get involved because you could have a say in where it is. Exactly. Awesome. It's and then as far as um, some of the education goals of the um, co-op, I understand you formed a foundation? We have uh, Mama Squash Foundation. Um, and we do, with that, hope to uh, work with education, both in terms of healthy foods and uh, also healthy environment locally. Awesome. And then the most important thing is, what can people do right now? And so, of course, the most important thing is to buy memberships. And uh, that membership right now uh, has multiple benefits in terms of getting that democratic opportunity mm -hmm. to express your opinion and where you'd like to see things happen. And it also um, provides <coughs> Uh, the opportunity to engage in our raffle mm -hmm. uh, and to win prizes uh, at our meeting that's coming up on the uh, 17th at oh, okay. uh, actually Josephine's Martini Bar, and that's running from 2 to 4. Okay. And who can attend that meeting? And it's open to the public. Anyone can come. It's a great place to ask questions and uh, get answers. It's also possible to uh, hit our website at mm -hmm. www.almasquash.com and we also try to lay everything out and answer all questions that uh, we think are being asked. Right, because this is definitely new for a lot of people. They might not be familiar with a co-op and how it works. And wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well. So Thank you all for stopping by Thank you. Um, Thank you, Mary. and informing yeah. everyone about Mama Squash Market. Obviously, there's still a lot to be done and people can get involved. Um, one thing to remember is the upcoming meeting is May 17th at 2 p.m. at Josephine's Martini Bar. So if you have any questions, you can go there for sure. And you can always visit the Mama Squash website, which is www.mamasquash.com.